Hey guys, it's Plum Fencer. Um, no, no, random video, but yeah, and that's this. It's lovely. That's the woods. In my opinion, not being rude, it's the most dangerous place to be. These are the type of places where things can happen without even realising things can happen. Without even knowing things can happen. Like you've got so much trap, so much stuff. Especially in these woods. These woods are not as maintained as they should, what they could be. But never mind. Oh. So, yeah. Um, that's my girl. We're going up. You can see Dopey Dog still running around like a blue ass bloody fly. Even though she needs that op soon. She's having that op in two days. Oh, I love being outside. You want to heal, you want to feel better, you want to get all your mental health sorted out and get everything sorted. I know it sounds really stupid. And I know a lot of people can't really afford it or can't really do it. But to me, personally, have a dog. That would make you get out. That's the reason why I got Dolby Dog. Go on, go. I know we've been trapped in for a few days, a few weeks, and we're going to be trapped in for a few, maybe a month or so, so she can recuperate after her op. But still, it still gets you out. It's something what, in my opinion, She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Dogs are there to help. Like, as you all know, I'm deaf. Yeah, and if I don't have my hearing aids in, I can't really hear that well. I can, I can hear slight, I can hear, but I'm not, not that 100% that well. Oop. And, um, basically, Dolphy Dog helps me hear. I know that sounds really stupid, but I know. But it's straight. Come on, girl. I can not watch her, and I know everything about her. Oh, sorry about that. Dolby Dog spun me around. But yeah, it's just... Oh, I have... I don't know what I'll be like today if I didn't have Dolby Dog. And... That's the God's honest truth with you. It's not me basically being stupid, it's not me being sad. It's the truth. I don't know where I'll be today. I don't know, Dopey Dog. I know we'll be doing YouTube. I can tell you that now. <laughs> She's the one who inspired me to do YouTube. There's quite a few people who inspired me to do YouTube. But that's another video. <laughs> Bless me. I have a few kit videos coming up by the way guys. And I mean a few, I mean a few. I probably have more kit videos coming up in the next couple of weeks than anything else. Because as I said, I'm not gonna be able to get outside that often. Because dopey dog dopey dog's up. But yeah. I know a lot of you. And I do appreciate every single person who's commented in the last video about dopey dog's operation, about me saying bad news. But come here, girl. Stay. As you can see, here, right where I'm pointing, right there, that's where the pin snapped. And it's just moving now. I don't know if it's a pin or bone. They don't even know. As you can see, that's where the old scar is. It's going to have a lot more scar tissue. But hopefully, she'll be back up on her feet. I'm in a couple of months. Go on, girl. So, yeah. So, point of this video, because it's coming, over, coming up to five minutes. Um, to me, outside's better than inside. A dog's better to get yourself out because they have to, you have to walk them. And most of all, they're lovely company. They show so much, so much affection towards you. I know cats do as well. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying they don't. But yeah, 
So, right, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And for me and Dopey Dog, we highly appreciate every single one of you who watch these videos and comments. Because without you guys, I'll still be making them. But I won't be making them, making them as much as I do. And we will not spend the fortune on this camera. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.